Hello, welcome to the Cloud Factory. My name is Sandy and in this video you will learn how to make this anarchy code. As you can see here I made a long one but you can choose the length you want depending on your taste. And you can wear it with dress, with more casual clothes, even with jeans and boots and it will look perfect with every outfit. So if you like this idea, stay with me and I will show you how to make this project. You are going to need our princess cut camis or dress patterns. Here I have the back part. Here I have the front part. As you can see here, I have the princess cut traces already. And also I have a basic sleeve pattern. I just made it uh, greased long, but you can also make it as long as you want. But for this design, I recommend you a long sleeve. Okay, if you don't have these patterns, in the description box below this video, I will leave you the link for the video tutorial of that and also the link to get the patterns. Once you have it, we will make the following transformations. In the back part, we will keep the dart and the extra space for the dart. So trace it when you make your princess cut patterns. And once you have it, extend this line and from this point, to the other points of the dart, build the skirt dart in this way to make a full dart. Now here in the waistline I am going to add one inch for loosing and also in the hips line. This is optional, if you don't want a very loose coat then don't do it. Because remember, in our previous patterns, we also add one inch for loosing. Then join these points. Now I will mark the full length of my coat. In this case, I want 48 inch. So I will mark it here. And in that point, I will trace a line, which is the baseline of my coat. And here I will mark the fourth part of the width I want for my coat, the bottom, bottom width. Uh, in this case, I will mark 20 inch. And I will join it with the hip point in this way. Here in the bottom part, I will go up by one inch. And using my tailor curve, I will trace this curve and I will cut my pattern. And your back pattern is ready. For the front pattern, I will add also the loosing inch in the waistline and also in the hips line. Remember this is optional. And I will trace this in case you want the loosing. Join these points. And I will extend the lines of my dart, the bust dart. Now I will take the measurement of the width of my dart in centimeters, I have 4.5 centimeters. Write it so you will not forget. Now mark the total length of your coat, it was 48. And from this point to down, we will add the 4.5 centimeters we get from the dart. Trace a line here, and in that line, Mark again your 20 centimeters for the width of your coat and join it with the hips point. Here go up by one inch also and trace the curve. Now 
Now we will work with the neckline. You can make any design you want. I am marking here 13 inch and from this point I will mark something like a heart shape line and I will finish to trace it with my curve drawler. Go to the neckline and the rest of the pattern. In this part I will give extra paper because of the dart, we will close it. Cut the rest of the pattern. Now remove the princess cut line. Here I forgot but you have to extend this line until the baseline like this. Now we are going to close the dart, fold it in this way and then like this, glue it, then join these two points, that's why we leave extra paper and cut by the new line. and remove the waist dart also. And there you have your front patterns. And the sleeve, just cut the pattern we have already, it's a basic long sleeve. And there you have your pattern ready, now let's cut it in the fabric. Fold the fabric keeping the right side out in this way and set your back pattern in the folded part of your fabric because we need only one piece of this and cut considering one centimeter for stitches all around. There you have it. Now let's move on to the front pieces. Fold the fabric again with the right side out, set your patterns from these pieces we are going to need two single pieces of each pattern. So cut it also considering one centimeter for stitches. And in this part I am cutting the folded part because as I told you we need two separate pieces of each one. Cut the other piece. And there you have it. Now for the sleeve, fold enough fabric to cover the length of your sleeve, remove the excess, fold it again, set your sleeve in the folded part, remove the extra fabric, pin it and cut and we will get two pieces obviously for our sleeves. Then remove the pattern, unfold the sleeves, put the pattern again and pin it and cut this side following the inner curve of the sleeve. This is for the front part of the sleeve. And there you have your both sleeves. Now let's see how to stitch it. Remove the patterns of the front pieces. Take uh, one piece of every shape and we are going to attach it together starting from here to down. It's easier if you start from the bottom part. So we are going to start from here facing the right sides of our fabric. When you reach the curves in the top part of your coat, just keep matching the shapes, the edge of the fabric and sewing so slow so you will not make any mistake. And once you finish, you will have something like this. Do the same with the other 
front pieces, two front pieces. And you will have this. Now remove the pattern from the back piece, extend it and transfer the darts. Put your pattern on, mark it. I have this tool but if you don't have it you can also use pins and make small holes in the fabric and take it as a reference to trace the dart in the fabric. Trace the dart and do the same in the other side. I am marking this in the um, wrong side of the fabric. Now close the darts, sewing by the external lines of, the, of every dart. And there you have it, you can keep it like this or open it and press it. In the right side looks like this. Now let's attach the border to the back piece first. I will build a border with three different laces but you can do it as you like. This is the right side of my fabric and I will overlap it on the lace about one centimeter and I'm going to give a stitch in the border of the lace. So here I am stitching in the uh, ground side of the fabric. Now fold the lace to the right side of the fabric and give a stitch in the bottom border and press it. Now we are going to attach the second lace. Facing uh, right sides of the lace, stitch them together but only take the two laces, not the fabric. Like this. Cut the excess of lace and you will have this. Now do the same with the third lace, facing right sides, attach it to the second lace, only taking the two laces, not the fabric. And once you have it, press everything together. And then we are going to give a stitch in the top border of the lace, but we are going to start from the middle point of the border to one side. And then start from the middle point to the other side. In this way you are not getting any wrinkle on the border since our bottom part is curved. Once you finish, you will have a perfect border. Remove the excess of laces. And for the front pieces, first of all, we are going to press the seams, opening them in this way all along. Once you have this, we are going to attach the border exactly in the same way we made the back part. Once you have the borders, we are going to work with the inner line of your front pieces. I will only attach this lace here in the um, wrong side of the fabric, sewing in the border of the lace and once I have it I will make some cuts here because it's curved the neckline then I will fold it to the right side of the coat and I will give a stitch in the border
Now we are going to give a stitch in the external border of the lace. And you finished. Looks like this. Do the same with the other piece. Once you have it, we are going to attach the hooks. You can also attach buttons or whatever you want to close it. I will take 10 hooks and 10 eyes. This, uh, it has two lines of eyes. I will cut it because I only need one. Then put your pieces together facing right sides of fabric. The side where you want it and make these marks in the starting and in the ending point. Put some pins, <laughs> one pin there and another pin in the ending point. And in the other side, draw these marks in the place of the pins. Now remove the pins. And in one side, we are going to attach the hooks in this way, here. Matching the marks I made previously. I give a stitch here, now I will fold it and give another stitch here. Now I am attaching the eyes with a simple stitch. You can make it double if you want. And there you have it. Like this. Now take the back piece and we are going to work with the neckline. I'm just going to attach a lace in the same way we attach uh, bias binding. I want it in the wrong side of my fabric, so I am attaching first in the right side, in the border. Make these cuts. Then fold it to the wrong side of the fabric and give a stitch in the border. And also in the other side of the lace, in the other border of the lace. And there you have it. Now facing right sides of the fabric, put all the pieces together and we are going to join the shoulders. Once you have it, it will look like this. Now we need to attach the sleeves, but for that first separate it. Fold it by the center line in this way. Here I have the front part of my sleeve, the front curve. The other sleeve folded in the opposite side. And here I have the front part of my sleeve. That means this is the right side of my sleeve. Uh, keeping that in mind, we are going to attach the border of the sleeves first. This is the uh, wrong side of the fabric and I will attach the lace here by sewing in this line. Now the second lace, in the same way I made the border for my back piece, attaching the both laces together. Now fold everything to the right side of the fabric and give a stitch here in the border. Now press it. Now we are going to give a stitch here in this border to attach it to my sleeve. And there you have it. Remove the excess of lace in both sides. And your sleeve is ready. Do the same with the other sleeve. And now let's attach it. Mark the center point of the sleeve like this and pin it to the shoulder stitch. And first attach the front part, then the back part. 
for the sleeve just keep sewing slowly and matching the shapes of the armhole and the sleeve once you finish your sleeve look like this do the same with the other one Since we are working with net fabric for the sleeves, it's transparent, so I will fold the armhole seams to inside and give a stitch in the border to hide it. Now we are going to stitch the sides of the coat. Usually we start from here and all along this line, but since I work my border separated, I will start from here in the bottom part. I'm going to stop in the armhole point and then I'm going to start the stitching in the sleeve until I reach again the armhole point. And there you have it. Do the same in the other side and your anarchy coat is ready. As usual, I hope you like this tutorial. If it's like that, share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos every week. In the description box below this video you have all the information about how to get the patterns for this project and also you have the links to my networks in case you want to contact me there. Also I would love to see your creations in our Facebook group. You have the link in the same place in the description box below this video. And that's all. Happy stitches for everyone and I will see you the next time.